Now I do need to say that as of the recordings of these videos, there were a few things where I needed to make sure I was good and prepared. So I'm going to test this paint out to make sure that it's going to work on this fabric. Because sometimes they get a little clogged up and have those little places in, in times when they don't. So we got that little bit of work taken care of there. And I'd say there's just little things we're going to do just to try to put a little work on these bees here you know you saw me in the last video cut out the little pieces to the patterns but there's going to be a little extra work to come along here and one little thing we're going to need to do here is to paint on the yellow stripes so as for here you see I just put this line on right here and as you see I just put another line on right here where it is kind of from one side of the tab to the next and then we're going to put a little yellow line at every place where there is a tab and kind of work along it the best that way that we can yellow black yellow and so this is how we've come along on this it is going to be every other spot between stripes that that we are going to fill in with yellow to make it a stripe and so that is what we're doing here you can see how i have already started doing that here and we're going to do it in every other one of these little spaces here there's going to come a point where we're going to sit it up to dry and that'll be where that work comes and ends and goes and so it's going to be hard to get it so it'll be smooth enough and I guess if we need to do that, we can come back and use a little sandpaper to kind of get rid of those little bumps in the paint. I've already gotten one stripe down. I'm getting ready to work on this other where you've seen me put in a little paint there. And so, and I'll tell you this little thing about these paints we have, these little sharp paints. Ever since I was a kid, these little fabric paint bottles were made and designed to paint t-shirts with. And when we were kids, you know, we'd go out and buy them with our allowances with what little we got. And it'd be the kind of thing where, you know, we'd buy it. But it took us so many years later to start being allowed to use it. It was the kind of thing which it could have made just too much mess and could have gotten all over our clothes and everything, been hard to wash out. And, you know, even when we brought it home in the car, it was quite the same way. We had to not get it out and stain up the car seats with it. So, as for this little work, we're kind of painting in another stripe here and that is where we got another one in we've got one more stripe to paint in and then we're done with this side so you can probably stick around while we go to the other side too of this little B and kind of make it so it's all sort of patterned out, instructed, I uh, say, oh, a little work cometh this way, and 
make it so we see a little brighter lights, brighter days. Oh, a little work to come. It's going to be a little blessed day for us all. And oh, the things in life that we do. I say, this is how we got it now. Got it all done out there. We've kind of, we'll go to this other one too, do quite the same thing here, make it so we've kind of got the stripes to intersect. Perhaps these ones are coming out a little too straight. We got curves in the last set of stripes, so we kind of want to make sure we kind of get things even enough otherwise it might not turn out to look right so this is my first time doing it this particular way which makes it ironic that I'm doing it on a video for the first time I'm doing it but I'd say we're kind of drawing little lines making little paint places where they come and go into this work. I say a little time going into this will make it last quite a ways. Oh, the work, I say. We're gonna come make it so it's going to brighten its way along us. Oh, little ways of doing things. We kinda got little patterns here and so we kind of work into them, make them so they're nice and neat. As for now, we got this little stripe put in. We've got a couple more to go, and then we'll be on our way. Of course, these will have to sit out to dry for a moment, at least overnight, maybe. So, that's how it's going to come along with this way. We do a little things just to kind of make it so we'll see brighter mornings, brighter evenings. Oh, work a long ways. Because we work our way around all this stuff and put in these little lines I say kind of drawing lines make it so they come a little bit into the do of the work is just kind of things kind of slow motion here and we're, we've got another stripe in here there's another stripe or two we're going to make along the way we got one more that is a little bit closer to the head to make and that one we got to put a little place in here and a place there these are like the starting and ending points so just put a little extra paint on that make it so it's going to be visible to the touch and all oh I say what a lot of work this will be to make somebody go what they do and what they say and what they scream I tell y'all a lot of work comes into this making it so we see brighter images come through in life and this little bumblebee is going to be among those things. There was a certain one of these bumblebees I was making, one where I tried to make the black stripes out of denim and the yellow stripes out of felt, and it was one that didn't go so good, and what I ended up doing with that was it ended up being a little gift for my niece, for her to play with.
it couldn't have sold in the shape it was in, so that's why we always kind of learn things the first time and do better the next time. That's all I have to say for now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.